Welcome back to another episode of Combat Achievements and Collection Log. Now on to episode 3. In episode 2 of the series, my luck was in at the Chambers of Zerik, grabbing an arcane prayer scroll and ancestral hat, meaning 4 purples in my first 50 kill count there. Uh, Thermi was also a little kind of that episode and got uh, 2 drops there, being the Smoke Battle Staff and Jar of Smoke shortly before 2000 kill count. Uh, Tempros, the fishing skilling boss, was the source of the final collection log slot where I got the tackle box as well as passing 50 kill count total there. Now, I haven't had a pet on the account for quite a while, so that's going to be the main goal of this episode, as well as continuing on other grinds such as the KQ head and various elite achievement diaries. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. We've been spamming the Cerberus task a lot lately, and a Primordial Crystal, that's a fantastic start to the uh, episode. Got uh, quite a few of those after going notoriously almost 2,000 dry for my first one. It's certainly picked up a lot, uh, now approaching 4,000 KC. And there was the big 4,000, so uh, no pets, uh, 1,000 kills over the drop rate. But uh, as we know, we're not any closer to the drop than uh, when we started. But uh, well, that's not really how I look at it. But uh, yes, words what some people might say. Provided I keep getting uh, crystals that are not Pegasian crystals, uh, I won't be too disappointed. Okay, a whip from an Abedemon Slayer task. That's a pretty common occurrence with me. I don't really uh, uh, ever have any bad luck here. Straight into another Cerberus task. Find these ones very easy to do and don't really ever feel uh, burnt by doing this boss. Uh, Eternal Crystal. Well, that said, I do have a free supply of uh, prayer and restore potions, unlike uh, if I was an iron, I probably wouldn't quite be feeling the same, but uh, we're not. And it certainly helps to keep seeing those on the ground. Yes, say another Primordial Crystal and the second crystal of the task. So, yeah, feeling good at Cerberus at the moment. Back to a bit of a solo raid, just trying to perfect my technique and uh, make sure I'm not dying on any of the raids. I'm not going to suicide supplies anymore since I did that uh, deathless one in the um, first episode. But yes, that's KC51 and over 30k points. And some herbs as our loot, 446k. Uh, pretty standard, probably just do maybe a couple of solos uh, each episode, but probably uh, mostly duos other than that. First master clue of the episode. And a mimic, another one. And 27 mimic KC now. And 664k, 25 Raynars. And 284k for that master. 50 more reward permits, that's uh, Tempros. That now gives me 3,000 Spirit Flakes overall. Add all of those together, so that will give us the Great Blue Heron Metamorphosis. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at it. And yes, uh, so that definitely looks better. I'll probably got a thing, you know, I think I have to use raw fish in it to turn it back, but uh, this rep probably won't. So. Probably done with Tempros uh, for now, but to probably return a bit later to try and grab some uh, more of the drops and uh, maybe the pet. Durado won't stop signing me at Hellhounds at the moment, that's for sure. And Cerberus won't stop dropping crystals either. Smouldering Stone uh, still maintaining a pretty good value. And 4,200 kill count now. Little uh, milestone there. And 60 odd kills later, a, another smouldering stone. Insert double figures now, I think, for those. And then another one, see, so yes, that's three in the three in the space of a, a very short time. Okay, it's gonna be master clue number 250 on the account. And a hood of some sort, but unfortunately not a unique uh, Lover Ken Okay, 251. 250k. Yeah, why not just add out one more crystal, and that's an eternal one this time. Okay, this is a grind I was putting off for quite a while, but there is a 1,000 chompies. So, uh, the plan is if we do fail to get a pet in this episode from the bossing, I'm going to go and get the pity pet, the uh, chompy. It's uh, a 1 in 400 chance after you finish the Western Elite Diary. And yes, that is the uh, Elite Task finished, and that is going to be the Diary finished after the shortcut. And I'll probably use the lamp on our agility, as yes, yeah, the lowest, uh, low, well, one of the lowest skills. Uh, yeah, it is the lowest skill at the moment. About to pass eight. Another milestone here. That's going to be four thousand five hundred KC, and uh, tons of kills already done in this episode. And uh, going to keep crying, but uh, Serb keeps giving me crystals. That's for sure. And speaking of crystals, there's another smoldering sense. It's about the fifth one this episode, I think. So, um, yes, uh, been good to me. That is a big drop, I will tell you. The KQ head on a very respectable 120 KC. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the recorder in time. But uh, yeah, I'll take that very much, and I won't be coming back to this place until I've done the Elite Diary. Just got to get a few more fletching levels for that. But uh, a nice one to get, and a fairly respectable kill count there. 120, at least I didn't have to do a 256. Um, I did actually end up doing the Sanguine SD uh, Max Mage method here, just to make it a bit more cosy. 
Another place I've been to look for either the pet or just lots of elite and hard clue scrolls is uh, Seracnus and my strategy here is very simple, just show you a quick kill now. The size DPS here is uh, pretty good and in combination with Dragon Claws at the end of the kill, it's set a fast grind for any of the drops here. To be honest, I've already got the Jar and the Cudgel. Obviously you do lose a bit of DPS when Seracnus uh, hurls her weapon freezes you, but her switching prayers here will mitigate the damage. Trips themselves are actually quite limited as unless you do get a food drop as you can kind of take frequent damage here due to the like the mages and uh, the melees when you have to switch prayer to will hit you quite hard but uh, that's fine anyway because it only takes like a minute or so to, to get back over 1000 kill count here and yes as I said already got the jar and the cudgel just looking for the sriracha pet and uh, another cudgel in the meantime there so yeah not worth too much but uh, as I said always nice to get a few drops along the way as well as the uh, clue scrolls back to some master clues 434k Number 253 and a black demon mask, 363k, not a unique unfortunately. And a couple of caskets here, the hard casket first, 47k. And the master casket, 210k. And that is a pretty horrible sight, a second uh, jar of eyes. So, yes, it's uh, here we go again time. It's uh, a dupe jar for me. And, uh, yeah, that one will be sold, I think. And another Mimic. Climbing up the high schools there, number 28 Mimic. And then 25 ones of Zami and 329k. Okay, our next Master Casket. 272k. I haven't been to the Dagnath Kings for a long, long time. Just haven't seemed to get any Dagnath stars. It's all been uh, hellhounds, to be honest. But uh, nice to be back here and uh, no pets so far in uh, over 8,000 total KC here. So uh, looking to break that soon, or hopefully should. But a uh, warrior ring instead is the first uh, ring back for a while. That uh, kind of sums up the pet RNG at this place. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to change that this episode. A little bit of insight into my strategy at uh, Dagnath Kings. Uh, with the gear I have, the rotations are uh, very easy to keep up. Uh, the Twisted Burr is very effective on Prime, Tentacle and Supreme or the Rapier, and Toxic Trident on Dagnath Rex. So I do use a Blood Fury instead of bringing Blood Spells or just relying on the Food Drops, as I really do like it here, and I never have to worry about my hit points. Uh, for Prime, I will sometimes stand in the corner, and like I am here, just to uh, avoid damage uh, from Supreme if he spawns, and for Rex, uh, just use the Safe Spot near the ladder, as you saw at the start of that uh, clip. Uh, the kills now is very good here, being about 80, 85 so tasks are fast and yeah considering it's a boss task it's um, very good even with the uniques as well uh, they have sort of obviously gone down a bit and the bones have gone down a bit too but I'll still sort of either break even or profit from the uh, noted bones thanks to the Fremnic Elite Diary. First trip back done at the Dagoneth Kings 154 kills did get a Berserker ring as well but I uh, had plenty of those in my time so two out of four rings there. Get a hard casket 73k a little milestone here that is going to be 1,300 kill count of this place. Been uh, ramping that up quite a bit, but the uh, kills now being so fast means it's um, going to go by very quickly. So it'll be at uh, 2,000 probably in no time. Yeah, got our next master casket, 257. And 471k. Okay, this kill is going to mark 3,000 KC at uh, Dagoneth Rex. It's going to be the first of the DKs that I'll reach that KC on. But uh, pet drop rate, 1 in 5,000. So, yeah, not actually dry individually for any of the pets, but uh, to, to have seen one of them by now is uh, more than uh, likely. Or, well, in my case, not very likely. We've got the Archer's Ring from Dangleth Supreme. Uh, always nice to see on the ground. Uh, the most expensive of all the rings, still uh, just over 3 mil. Managed to pull two Archer Rings in at that trip, so 194 kills. Nice to have done quite a lot, and uh, profit's going to be good. Almost 8 mil. Plus the Hard Clue and a Bucket Helm. Okay, five Hard Caskets to open here. 48k. 232k, some Teleports. 74k, 82k, and 23k to finish. Also got some mast caskets, did these ones uh, over the weekend, but I uh, wanted to save them until today. And I've got another bowl wig. 375k, purple sweets carrying that one. And the final one for now. 416k, so a little bit uninspiring. It's uh, quite the start to a Dagnath King's trip, an archer's ring from the very first kill. This kill will mark 
3,000 from uh, Dagneth Supreme. Next Master Casket, 242k. And another one, 336k. I said at the start of the video I did want to get a pet and uh, there it is, it comes from the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, so I thought it would have been a Cerberus or a DK's pet, but uh, it was Thermi that uh, broke off a fairly long streak actually without uh, a boss pet, so a fair few thousand kills, don't know exactly, but uh, over 5,000 I'd say. And yes, the Smoke Devil pet shortly before 2,000 KC, so we are uh, going to be finished with this boss as well. Now, there is the Dragon Chain Body, obviously, but you can get that from the Calphite Queen, so I'll probably uh, save that one for when I do the, that boss again after the diary. So, pet number 12 on the account. Tiny little metamorphosis, but it's nothing uh, special, so got to insure it as always. And yes, first uh, proper boss pet for a long time. I got the Scatizo pet back in uh, March, I think, but uh, well, it is a boss pet, but it's a very common one. So, uh, first, uh, first um, one in 3k plus one. And I put that one straight in the POH. And it can uh, roam around with the rest of them. They're going to finish the task here anyway. I do have the pet out at uh, the moment. Don't worry, it is insured, as I said. And 2,000 KC overall. 27 more to go. And then we're not going to come back here. I would recommend, uh, if you do want to go for this pet, uh, use this method as you do. Still to make a tiny bit of profit, I showed a little kind of comparison in the first video. And I should have a loot video for this boss as well coming out showing uh, all my loot from uh, 2,000 kills here. So, uh, look forward to that. And as you can see on the uh, collection log, uh, 7 occults, uh, pet smoke devil, smoke battle staff and jar of smoke. And just missing that uh, D chain which will come from KQ. So, yeah, it's a uh, very good log to be honest. Couple more clue scrolls to open, Master Clue, 265, and a little ornament kit, Armadale Godsword. And our next Master Casket, 222k. Breaking any pet dry streak always uh, fills you with confidence when you next go on uh, another PBM trip that, uh, yeah, pets do exist. And yes, would you believe it, that was two pets in three days. The pet Dagonus Supreme, 3,000 down at 75 KC, and the first DK's pet on the account. So yes, I was uh, overjoyed with that at the time. I unfortunately didn't have my microphone on, but uh, yeah, I was uh, celebrating a fair bit. And uh, tell you straight out after that Rex kill. And yeah, there it is, uh, the first Dagonus King's pet. I'm going to go straight to uh, Probita to ensure that one as usual. That's actually one of the best the best one to get first, I would say, because doing Rex and Prime on their own are uh, nowhere near as awkward as I can pretty much um, just stand in the uh, corner of the room and I can mage Rex and obviously say spot him and then I can attack Prime without having to interfere with uh, Supreme. So yeah, it's probably the, the best one to get first, definitely. And um, yes, uh, overjoyed with that. And uh, to, yep, I'll pay 500k, that's for sure. And yeah, make that pet number 13. Okay, this task is going to be 1,500 Slayer tasks done now. Uh, overall, we've uh, quite the Slayer with over 30 million XP in that skill, and I, I still love Slayer, to be honest, so it's uh, only going to go up. Little level here is going to be 94 Herblot. I'm just, uh, yes, just using some of these supplies in my bank and uh, slowly getting that. But it's nice that I can make uh, Anti Venom plus plus now without having to uh, boost at all. Little milestone, the Karam ones, that's 20 mil fishing XP. These are something that AFK quite like my spare time. Do have the Heron already, but uh, yeah, these are decent for profit as well as uh, clue bottles as well to cash in for masters. Okay, it has been uh, quite the episode, but uh, can it get better? Yes, it can. That's a uh, third primordial crystal. And why not finish off with another smoldering stone? So yes, made a fair bit of profit from Cerberus, even if we were unable to get the uh, hell puppy. Okay, another Master Casket, and 497k, not bad. I said I just wanted one pet this episode, but I uh, decided to get three, all in the space of uh, four or five days, in the Rocky, the thieving pet, from a ham member of all things. I know you can get the thieving pet from any NPC, but it's like a 1 in 257k chance. So yeah, deciding to go for an easy clue just to hand into Watson has got me uh, another pet, and that's uh, pet number 14 on the account, and another skilling pet as well. So uh, much appreciated. Definitely not pickpocketed uh, 257k ham members, so I've done, well, 9,000 tracked on um, this PC. But uh, yeah, you know what, we'll definitely take that. It's a lot better than going at many thousand XP or many million XP at dry at somewhere like Ardy Knights and getting the pet before 99 is uh, ideal. So back here, and well, this is becoming a pretty good gold sink for me in the last few days. 
and I'll probably keep the rocky that color. I know you can um, use red berries or poison ivy berries on it to change color, but uh, I do like it in that condition. I'm gonna deposit that one in my POH, and uh, yeah, no need to go for the chompy this episode, that's for sure. I'm gonna save that for the next time we go out, draw on pets. Okay, now that master casket, uh, 194k. And if I, yes, I got the Bloodhound this episode too, that would be a dream. And there is a new collection of item though, 269 Masters, the fancy tiara with the, uh, the cool pop-up as well. Back to the Chambers of Zeric to wrap up a fantastic episode. And uh, no purple on this one, but uh, that was my best solo raid so far. And uh, a very good phase three, which is uh, the reason got uh, so many supplies left. But it uh, doesn't mean we can't uh, finish with the purple, this was just a little trio. And it was an arcane press, got a dupe one, but you know what, that's a purple to cap off the episode, is uh, I'm not going to complain at all. Uh, that's now five purples in 58kc here. So two dexes, two arcanes, and an ancestral hat. Uh, so yeah, very pleased with that. Um, not too much, but you know, it's a, it's a purple. Well, that was uh, quite the episode, and I might struggle to top the pet RNG there for the rest of the series. Uh, we settled just to get one pet, and I uh, thought it would end up being the Chompy Chick from the Western Elite Daria, which is what is uh, pretty much a pity pet, as I said. But uh, boy, it could not have been more different. I got the uh, Western Elite done and had that Chompy ready to obtain, but uh, Thermi was the boss that delivered first. That was the Pet Smoke Devil being my first PVM pet other than Skatizo in over five months. Uh, yeah, Skatizo was, was the one I got in uh, March. Uh, that also means I'm done with Thermi. Until the Combat Darius come out, should I need to do anything for them at the very next day I went to DK's and uh, grabbed my first kit pet there and almost 10,000 total kill count being the Dagmouth Supreme Junior and that was a 1 in 5,000 chance so the final pet was probably the biggest shock and that was the thieving pet the Rocky from a ham member of all things and while I was just uh, hunting for an easy clue to turn into what's in a uh, level 94 thieving or about 8 million XP for that one and that was my third pet in the space of four days and suddenly we'd gone from 11 pets to 14 pets and had a one slayer pet knocked out as well as obtained the fifth skilling pet on the account so so not too shabby. Elsewhere, great to get the Calphite Queen head uh, finished, and now I can do the Desert Diary by just getting a few more fletching levels, 91 I think to boost for 95. Uh, lots more Master Clues done, and one new unique, that being the Fancy Tiara, and uh, now up to 269 Master Clues overall. I uh, will be releasing a second big Master Clue loot video uh, soon, probably at 300-ish uh, uh, total clues. Uh, purple at the Chambers of Zeric capped off an awesome episode, and there was an Arcane press goal. Uh, we got plenty of uh, luck at serve, so that didn't really matter, and that's now five purples in 60 kill counts, so no complaints from me. At this point uh, in the series, and the doubt I'm recording this video, the Combat Diaries are still probably a week or a couple of weeks away, so they may not begin for another couple of episodes, but we do have plenty of collection log work and a uh, new PVM to be done in the meantime to help prepare for them. Thank you for watching the video as always, hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one.